Today, looking at a music video I shot as a one-man band with an iPhone and the B-Strip 1.55 times anamorphic lens. Hey guys, Blake Calhoun, and I have talked about this music video off and on for about a year, not quite a year. Shot this before the pandemic started in 2020. We shot with the B-Script 1.55 times anamorphic. It got delayed because of the pandemic. And basically the music video has never gotten completely finished. And I don't think it really ever will. But I still wanted to show what I did. I think it's a good lesson to show how you can use minimal gear and get creative with your locations and then make something pretty cool. So I shot this video in one main location in the warehouse section of the studio I work out of, but I broke it into multiple smaller locations within that. Ended up being four locations within that one location. I shot using an iPhone 11 Pro Max. I used Filmic Pro, and as mentioned, the B-Script 1.55 times anamorphic adapter using their B-Script Pro. And additionally, I used a Hollywood Black Magic filter. Links for all this stuff will be in the description of the video. Again, I shot this as a one man band. And so the behind the scenes was shot by me as well. And so there's limited behind the scenes footage, but I think there's enough here to tell the story of how I made this. By the way, I can't play the actual song from the music video because of copyright reasons. I don't have the rights to the song, and so I don't want YouTube to put a copyright strike against this video. Location number one was the yellow garage door, and I used a ring light, and I wanted this stylized look because using the ring light will put that light in your eyes, and he's wearing mirrored sunglasses, and so I wanted that reflection in his eyes. I think that can be kind of a cool music video look. Then one thing I did that was kind of unique is I actually left the ring light in the shot on the edges. It just gives kind of a weird, almost sci-fi vibe, I thought, but I really liked it. And so I shot with the wide lens on the iPhone and a close-up lens to get the two different looks. One shooting through the ring light and then one including the ring light. And then the second location was, again, the wall right adjacent to him. We just more or less flipped the camera and I relit it, this time using one big soft source light and then I put two lights on light stands in the scene. And I did that on purpose because I did this music video more or less as a test for the anamorphic lens. And so I wanted to get the anamorphic flares. The shots in this location are probably my favorite ones in the video. Here too, I shot with the wide and then also the telly. And I moved the camera quite a bit using a tripod. And I also used some slider dolly shots as well. But using a big single soft source light like this off to the side, you get some nice modeling on his face and I think a very cinematic look. The third location was on a couch and unfortunately I didn't shoot behind the scenes of this, but I used a very similar lighting setup. Just the one big soft source off to the side and then him on the couch singing directly into the camera. The song is an emotional song and so this was more of a emotional look. And the fourth and final location was on a small white stage. The original plan called for doing some visual effects shots here, but those ended up not working for a variety of reasons, and so went with just a simpler look here, which in the end, the idea here was just to have multiple locations to make the video look bigger. And so that was more or less the production. Now let's look at post. Post was a little bit tricky because of the size of the aspect ratio. I ended up editing in 3968 by 1440. It's a 2.76 to one aspect ratio. And of course the anamorphic lens squeezes the image to do that. That's what it looks like originally. And then here is what it looks like after it's properly de-squeezed and with some color grading. I shot Filmic Pro flat and so I kept the grading fairly simple. It was shot interior and I have minimal lighting and so I didn't shoot log. With the new iPhone 12 Pro Max, I would shoot log all day long, 10-bit log V3. This was the 11 Pro Max and so I wanted to guard to try to keep the noise at a minimal level. And I think I did a pretty good job in that respect. But I used my LUT packs I can turn that off right there. You can see the difference between the graded and the ungraded. Pretty warm. And then I did an adjustment layer over the entire thing here 
and uh, with the adjustment layer, I use Film Convert Nitrate. And Film Convert, for those that aren't familiar, is a film emulsion simulator. And so here I use Polaroid, Polaroid 600. Went for more of a kind of a vintage vibe, a little lower contrast. And it helps take the edge off the iPhone video. And here's part of the raw footage. It is color graded, but what I'll show you is how as I'm shooting, I'm panning and tilting, trying to find shots. So I'll be on the guitar and then I might tilt up to his face. And then in the editing, I put all this together, of course. But the point is that I can get a variety of different shots from one shot. And then with this particular video, the whole idea behind it originally was to demo the anamorphic lens. And so that's why these flares were important to capture. So this was my low angle shot and I used this quite a bit in the video. And then here I did a high angle shot. So I did the same thing. I just put the camera up high on a tripod and I've got that anamorphic lens. I had it on the wide lens. And so you get that distortion, which for this kind of shot, I think works pretty well, especially when he gets his face close to it like that. That's pretty cool. And then one more setup there was the close up. And so same shot. I just now I'm shooting with the tele lens through the anamorphic lens. And this is some nice looking stuff, I think. And then of course I got the wide shot here, the stylized with the edges of the light in the shot. This was not my original plan. My original plan was to push in and post, but I just thought it looked kind of cool. And so I left it. And then I got shots of the guitar. I actually lowered it below the ring light to get these shots. And then here's the close up in front of the garage. And then here's the couch shot. I was really surprised with this shot, how the noise level was pretty low and it held up well. This was again shot with the same big soft light you saw against the wall. And I did put a little bit of a kicker light behind him to just to give him a little bit of a rim on this particular shot. Rims his back a little bit, but mainly his hair right here. Just some separation from the background. Then the last location was shooting him on the white psych in the studio. And these are just some effects. It's like an LED effect I did, just playing around with some different ideas. So ultimately in this style of video, you just take all these shots, put them together, edit them creatively, and you're not trying to tell a story with this type of video. It's more of a montage of just different locations and such. And ultimately, I did all this by myself, shooting on an iPhone with one main light and the B-Script 1.55 times anamorphic adapter. And so you don't need a big crew. You don't need all kinds of fancy gear. Get out there with what you've got. Take your iPhone, take your Android, doesn't matter what you're shooting with, and make a music video, make a short film. This is definitely filmmaking democratized. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.